So the third dip is called the monkey move because it looks a little bit like a monkey going down and coming up. But it looks really cool and if you can practice this and do it with a lot of speed, it looks really cool. So for this one, leaders, again, we're gonna start now in an open position. We're gonna lead the follower forward and slightly ask her to open up. The same way like we did in the last move, except we're not gonna ask her to open up that much. We're just gonna do it a little bit. Then I'm gonna reach my right hand forward and place it onto her side. Let's show you that up close. Leader is leading the follower forward, opening her up. Then my right hand is gonna go thumb down in her armpit like this with the right hand up. Hiya! Again, from here, I'm gonna lift my elbow up to create a window for the follower to go underneath, to duck under. One, two. As I let go of this hand, the right, the right hand creates an elbow. You see where, where Corinne is holding now? She's holding on my tricep as I create this window. So she's using that tricep to hold on to it. So if we're really close, it looks like this. This is where she holds. <laughs> this is where she holds, yeah? So as we're here in this position, she holds like that and I'm pressing my shoulder blade back and down and she's using me as that weight. So as she goes down, she keeps using that all the way through. We switch over, she again, she holds on my tricep, I hold on her tricep. We lift her up and we rotate out of it. Okay, so followers, we're stepping two steps forward. We have one and two. I'm not shifting my weight on my left leg. And then after I'm shifting, I'm sending my right leg back. I'm sitting down on my right leg and close the legs. Don't open it, close. And then I'm shifting to my left leg. I'm sitting on my left leg and then I'm going up. You can do waves, you can just go up. You can use your hip up and then going out with your left leg. Let's, uh, we're gonna stop on, uh, on the two. So one, two, and we keep going from here. From here, leaders, I said I created the window. In this position, I'm weighted on my left foot. We have the window. As the follower goes down, I'm gonna stay over my left foot to counterbalance her before, as she swings, I'm gonna swing to the other side, again, to help her maintain balance. If I was here, she would fall. So I'm gonna be over to my right leg. And as she uh, steps up, I'm gonna help her lift her up with my right hand. And when you do this all the way through, you use the momentum of the swing to also swing up. So one more time, all the way through. One, two, woo, swing up and out. So in this pattern, you wanna start by doing it slowly, all the way through, matching it. Then you wanna try and add a little more tempo to it and momentum because it actually becomes easier when you do it a little bit faster and you get that swing feeling up. If you do it all the way slow, the follower usually has to use all her legs and that's like doing a, a pistol squat and that's very heavy. So you, in this move, you want to get to that swing action and that also makes it feel really fun when you do that. So one more time, all the way through. One, two, woo, swing up and out.